Here's three ways to edit AVCHD files in Final Cut Pro, including the right way that will make the editing gods bless you with 1 million deadlines met. Yes! I'll also show you what to do if somebody dumps a pile of MTS files on you. And stick around because at the end I'll show you 10 tools for editing AVCHD files like a pro. Let's do it! Importing AVCHD files in Final Cut is actually pretty easy. Just go into Final Cut Pro and press Command I to open the import window. And then select your card, which is right here. Mine says no name. This is my card I have with AVCHD files on it. And when I select that, you'll see the clips are right here. They're numbered one, two, three. And I can import into Final Cut Pro just like any other videos. Final Cut Pro sees them on the card. It recognizes them. I can import multiple clips at once. I can import sections of a clip if I want, just like other files. So let's import clip number two. I'll select it and I'll select my event I want it in. You'll notice that you can't leave it in place because it's coming from a camera card. So we'll copy it to library and I'll select import selected. All right, there it is. You'll see it's under a section called AVCHD and it works just like normal. I can select a section and I'll press E to add it to my timeline. Hey, this is Dylan and this is an AVCHD file. And there we go, it works great. So Final Cut Pro did not transcode it or change it. They just rewrapped it in a container that they can work with and recognize. Another thing that some people do and that you can do is copy the folder over to your hard drive. So here's my card, right? No name. And inside there's this folder called private. There's this file called AVCHD. I've copied it over here to my desktop into another folder. You'll see it right here. And if I right click on it, I can select show package contents and it has another one show package contents. And if we look in here, here are the actual video files for AVCHD. It's called .mts. And then there's a bunch of more information here with it, metadata. So I can import from this file too that I've copied to my hard drive. But this isn't the best way you should do it. I'll show you in just a little bit the best way to do it with the camera archive. So I'm back in Final Cut Pro and I'll click on this import button here and I'll go to desktop and I'm in this folder here, AVCHD. If I open it, you'll see the three clips as well. So just like before, I can select a section of a clip or multiple clips and import like normal. Let's import clip number three and just this section of it. You'll notice that even though this is a copy on my hard drive, I still can't leave files in place because Final Cut is treating it as if it's a camera card. I'll click on import selected. All right, so here's my clip I just imported, number three. It's under QuickTime Movie and I'll add it to my timeline and you'll see it works just like normal. Here's something that I just noticed happened earlier. Remember it was down here under AVCHD and now clip number two and three are both under the QuickTime Movie section. That's because Final Cut rewrapped them in the QuickTime Movie container and that's why they show up under this section. Okay, this is the best way to do it. Anytime I shoot footage, I make a camera archive. So I'll open up Command I and I'll select my camera card right here and then I'll press create archive. Let's put it in this folder here and we'll give it a name. We'll call it AVCHD archive. And then I'll just press create. What that does is it creates a bit for bit clone of the card. What's great about that is now I can eject this card, I can put it in my camera and I can go and use it. And I don't have to worry about losing any footage. I'll go to the desktop and then into this folder and we'll see this archive here. I can open it or I can double click on it and there I see those three clips from before. And then I can select one or two and I can import them. Are you enjoying this video? Has it been helpful with your AVCHD questions? If so, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will find this video? Thanks. And in just a bit, I'll show you those 10 tools for editing AVCHD in Final Cut Pro. But first, I wanna show you what to do if somebody dumps a giant pile of MTS files on you. 
All right, so what do you do if you just have a bunch of MTS files somebody gave you? How are you going to get those into Final Cut Pro? You can't directly import them, but I'll show you what you can do. There's this software called Edit Ready, and what that will do is it can transcode or rewrap those files into something Final Cut Pro can use. I've downloaded the trial. Let's give the trial a test run. So here are the MTS files right here from my camera. What I can do is just select them and drag and drop them in here and it automatically recognizes and reads them. I'll use this preset rewrap or I can even transcode it to like a ProRes file or H.264 or even 265. I'll leave rewrap. You'll notice file format is quicktime.mov and you can't change it. I'll select my destination folder. Here we go, desktop, AVCHD, and we'll put them here in the MTS file and click open. And then I'll just click on convert all. Because this is a trial, it just does one minute of the video file and it does it pretty quickly. So now if we go back to this folder, look what we've got here, these MOV files right there that we can now use. So we can go into Final Cut Pro and press command I to open the importer. We'll go to desktop and let's make our way to that folder. Here it is. And now I have these MOV files that I can import. The only problem is I can't select a section of it. I have to import the entire clip. But one thing I can do is leave the files in place if I want to. So we're gonna leave them in that folder and I'll click on import selected. And here they are under QuickTime Movie because they've been rewrapped by Edit Ready. All right, once you've imported your AVCHD files into Final Cut Pro, you can treat them like any other video file. You can add them to your timeline, you can trim them, you can move them around. You can do everything that you can with a normal file with AVCHD files. Once you've got the files in Final Cut Pro, you edit just like normal, like any other video or file type. And I put together my 10 favorite tools for editing videos in Final Cut Pro, and I put it in a video, and I think you'll like it. Check it out here.